Hi guys, JT here and today I'm bringing you some information on the Humble Bundle Bundle Games Done Quick Frost Fatales Bundle of March 2024. To help you answer the question, should you buy it? By using the link provided in the description below, not only will you gain access to this bundle, but you also have the opportunity to support this channel. Your support would mean the world to me, and I genuinely appreciate it. Anyway, let's get into this. At number 1 we have... Pseudo Regalia, a dreamy platformer that catapults you into a retro-inspired 3D adventure, beckoning you to guide Sybil through a haunted castle plagued by a sinister curse. As you navigate this Metroidvania world, you'll uncover new powers and abilities to combat the encroaching evil. This indie gem harks back to the golden era of Nintendo 64 gaming, delivering a nostalgic yet refreshing experience. The gameplay of Pseudo Regalia is nothing short of stellar. With intuitive controls and seamless integration of new powers, navigating the vibrant world feels like second nature. The Metroidvania loop adds layers of depth, rewarding exploration with newfound abilities that breathe life into previously inaccessible areas. While the lack of a map can lead to occasional frustration, the game compensates with a plethora of challenges and unlockables that keep you invested for hours on end. Visually, Pseudo Regalia hits all the right notes, evoking the charm of late 90s gaming with meticulous attention to detail. From the pixel-perfect textures to the enchanting soundtrack that seamlessly transitions between genres, every aspect contributes to the immersive experience. Despite occasional navigational hurdles, the game's compelling gameplay and atmospheric design make it a standout title in the indie platformer genre. Pseudo Regalia is a triumph, offering a nostalgic trip down memory lane while delivering a fresh and engaging gameplay experience. With its captivating world and satisfying mechanics, it's a must-play for fans of retro gaming and platform enthusiasts alike. So, if you're ready to embark on a dreamy adventure filled with mystery and intrigue, Pseudo Regalia awaits, beckoning you to unlock its secrets and save the world from impending doom. And number 2 we have... Guilt. A gripping horror experience, skillfully navigating the fine line between cartoony graphics and genuine thrills while delving into the serious issue of bullying. As Sally, you embark on a quest to find her missing cousin Emily amidst the eerie backdrop of a town torn apart by mysterious forces. The game's narrative unfolds smoothly, immersing you in Sally's desperate search and the unsettling events that unfold. Despite some initial confusion regarding the setting, guilt quickly captivates with its atmospheric storytelling and eerie atmosphere. The introduction of monstrous adversaries adds to the tension, with various strategies available for dealing with them, from stealthy evasion to direct confrontation. Guilt excels in its attention to detail, weaving together a rich tapestry of lore and backstory that adds depth to the gameplay experience. The Lovecraftian elements are particularly well executed, with subtle hints and clues scattered throughout the environment, inviting you to uncover the truth behind the town's dark secrets. Visually, Guilt impresses with its stylized graphics and dynamic animations, while the hand-drawn cutscenes and evocative soundtrack enhance the overall immersion. Despite its relatively short length, the game offers plenty of opportunities for exploration and discovery, ensuring that every moment feels meaningful. Guilt is a standout horror experience that deserves a chance to shine. With its compelling narrative, engaging gameplay, and atmospheric presentation, it offers a memorable journey into the unknown, leaving you craving more long after the credits roll. And number 3 we have... Abzu an underwater adventure that transcends traditional gaming boundaries to deliver a breathtaking experience unlike any other. Developed by Giant Squid, the minds behind Journey and Flower, Abzu invites you to explore a vibrant aquatic world teeming with life and beauty. As you plunge into the depths, you'll encounter a plethora of marine creatures, from graceful dolphins to majestic whales, each rendered with stunning detail and fluid animation. The absence of UI elements and text prompts allows you to immerse yourself fully in the experience, driven solely by curiosity and exploration. Swimming feels effortless and intuitive, with smooth controls that encourage fluid movement through the water. Whether somersaulting through the currents or riding alongside a pot of dolphins, every moment is a testament to the game's impeccable design and attention to detail. The environments are a sight to behold, bursting of color and life at every turn. From bustling coral reefs to eerie abyssal trenches, each locale offers a unique blend of mood and atmosphere, enhanced by an evocative soundtrack from composer Austin Wintory. Despite its narrative shortcomings, Abzu excels as a meditative journey through an enchanting underwater world. Its message about environmental stewardship may feel heavy-handed at times, but the sheer beauty and wonder of the experience more than make up for any narrative missteps. Abzu is a visual and auditory masterpiece that deserves to be experienced by anyone with a love for exploration and discovery. 
While its story may falter, its ability to evoke a sense of awe and wonder is unparalleled, making it a must-play for fans of artistic and immersive gaming experiences. And number 4 we have Helix 2, a surreal journey into the depths of weirdness, presenting a visual and auditory experience that is as unique as it is bizarre. This RPG Maker title stands out for its unconventional art style, featuring hand-animated clay figures and psychedelic landscapes that evoke a sense of wonder and curiosity. The story, while initially confusing, follows the simple premise of threatening the resurrection of a tyrannical force known as Gibby. As the protagonist Wayne, you embark on a quest to gather allies to stop the impending threat, encountering a cast of eccentric characters along the way. Gameplay in Helix 2 combines exploration and turn-based combat, reminiscent of classic GRPGs. While the lack of a traditional leveling system may initially perplex players, it adds a layer of mystery and discovery as you uncover ways to improve your party's stats through unique mechanics such as grilling meat and using paper cups. Visually, Helix 2 is a feast for the eyes, with its handcrafted clay animations and vibrant backgrounds creating a surreal and immersive world. The soundtrack, although not particularly stand out, complement the game's atmosphere with its smooth and relaxing melodies. However, Helix 2 is not without its flaws. The vague storytelling and lack of character depth may leave some players wanting more, while certain gameplay elements such as platforming sections and occasional technical issues detract from the overall experience. Despite these shortcomings, Helix 2 is a testament to the power of indie game development, offering a captivating and unconventional journey that is sure to leave a lasting impression. For those willing to embrace its eccentricities, Helix 2 is a diamond in the rough, deserving of recognition and praise. It is a journey worthwhile undertaking for fans of the weird and wonderful. And number 5 we have Dicey Dungeons, a captivating blend of collectible card game and roguelike dungeon crawling. It combines dice rolls and card mechanics to create an immersive RPG experience. In this offbeat dungeon adventure, you utilize dice and cards to deal damage and enhance your character's abilities. The game's art and design pay homage to roguelikes and card games with a focus on randomness of dice. Set in a game show like atmosphere, the studio audience adds an entertaining touch to battles and chess openings. Terry Kavanagh, known for games like VVV, VVV, and Super Hexagon, takes a friendlier approach in Dicey Dungeons. The game gradually introduces mechanics through tutorials and incremental challenges. Despite the initial simplicity of rolling dice and using them in weapons card slots, the game constantly introduces new elements that make you rethink your strategy. From shock and fire damage to manipulating opponents' dice, every decision feels like that of a mastermind tactician. Dicey Dungeons excels in providing strategic choices. You can save damage to trigger healing cards, or use buffs to hit specific numbers for status effect cards. Despite the underlying randomness, battles offer opportunities for clever moves, making you feel accomplished. With dungeon runs, boss fights, and unlocking new characters, the game offers extensive gameplay. It appeals to deck-building enthusiasts looking for a unique experience beyond games like Hearthstone or Gwent. With its casual and lighthearted vibe, Dicey Dungeons becomes a long-term prospect. The game's world-building is exceptional, creating a surreal 90s cartoon-like atmosphere through dice worlds. While lacking multiplayer, it shines as a solo deck-building adventure with great art and presentation. Dicey Dungeons is an endearing, compulsive, and eccentric game that keeps you exploring its delightful world. At number 6 we have Mail Time, a game that places you in the tiny socks of a male scout in training. As you embark on your first delivery, the objective is simple, deliver letters and become a full-fledged male scout. The catch? You only have a name to guide you, and the recipients are scattered in a small open-world neighborhood. The game's aesthetic, though not technically impressive, is visually appealing with a unique hand-drawn style. The dialogue is presented using expressive 2D images akin to a visual novel. The smaller world map, while not expansive, fits the cozy neighborhood theme, encouraging exploration and interaction with characters. Despite its brevity, Mail Time manages to create a charming atmosphere with light and optimistic writing. The story, while not deep, is complemented by clever wordplay and amusing jokes. The interactive nature of delivering mail allows you to get to know the characters better, enhancing the overall experience. The game's movement physics, though loose, contribute to the exploration, offering a decent amount of verticality in the neighborhood. However, mail time is a short experience, lasting around 2 hours, even with stamps to collect and secrets to find. In the realm of cozy cottage core games, Mail Time distinguishes itself by delivering a compelling and enjoyable experience without compromising its friendly and welcoming atmosphere. It is cute, creative, and while not a transcendental experience, succeeds in providing a cute and inoffensive adventure. It's a breezy, easygoing game 
that offers exactly what you might need in a cozy gaming experience. And number 7 we have Made of Skur, a first person adventure that promises a gripping narrative and stunning scenery that will immerse you in its macabre atmosphere. The journey begins with a foreboding train ride, as Thomas receives a distressing message from his beloved Elizabeth, drawing him to the hotel. The game excels in capturing the late 1800s ambiance, immersing you in a world teeming with cultish intrigue and unsettling beauty. The attention to detail, reminiscent of Bioshock and Someday You'll Return, sets a captivating stage for its unfolding tale. Exploring the decrepit Skur Hotel reveals a mesmerizing yet chilling environment, with each corner hiding secrets and dangers. As you navigate the grounds infested with the eerie quiet ones, stealth becomes your ally, heightening the tension and sense of unease. The gameplay offers a delicate balance between exploration and survival, with puzzles to solve and enemies to evade. While the pacing may feel slow at times, the narrative keeps you hooked, driving you to uncover the truth behind Elizabeth's plight. However, the endings leave some questions unanswered, and could have provided more closure. Despite these flaws, Made of Skur grips you with its atmosphere and narrative depth making it a must-play for horror aficionados and explorers alike. With its breathtaking visuals, haunting soundtrack, and intriguing story, Made of Skur offers a captivating experience that lingers long after the credits roll. While it may not be flawless, its ability to draw you into its world makes it a journey worth taking. Don't miss the chance to explore the dark secrets of Skur Hotel. It's an unforgettable adventure into the heart of fear. And that's all for this bundle. This bundle is truly exceptional offering a delightful assortment of both unique and casual games. What's particularly remarkable is the value it provides compared to typical Humble Bundle offerings. With a diverse selection, ranging from adventure and brain teasers to casual and even horror games, it not only comes at an affordable price, but also caters to a wide range of player interests. In any case, kindly show support by liking and subscribing to the channel, and I look forward to connecting with you in the upcoming video.